how well we can build confidence and enthusiasm of our students into writing because this is the area where we often come to hear that some of our most of our students lack confidence or they have nothing to say or they are reluctant to write and uh, they like normally complain that they have uh, you know sweaty palms and butterflies in the stomach when it comes to writing so we as language teachers need to understand what our students need and what they want and once we have understood why they are not willing to write yeah we have to identify the needs as language teachers because uh, for example if you are teaching at a uh, public a government school level so you have to stay like uh, with the students at class 9th and 10th for 2 years so it's important to understand students uh, you know psychosocial needs related to writing at this stage and then uh, by identifying these needs will help solve that problem will also help help us as language teachers to decide to choose tasks which suit them which are of appropriate interest to our students for example uh, we if we want to uh, involve our students into writing an invitation to someone on on some occasion and they, we want them to write an invitation letter to for instance a ministry or the vice chancellor of a university so as language teachers we need to offer information regarding that task how we can provide information we can uh, um tell them like the important phrases important sentences important vocabulary and this is how they can feel much more encouraged and once we involve them in kind of collaborative activity which involves like pair pair work or group work students need to understand the mechanism the madness behind pair work and uh group work and they need to understand uh who writes what and how the writing sequence actually takes place in the classroom so by offering them necessary and required language can help uh you know students feel encouraged for instance not all of the students in the classroom may need uh, uh, you know every kind of information rather some students may lack uh, may need uh, more information and some may need less information so we can we can uh, uh, be as a facilitator as as involving students into groups and pairs we can give them ideas and ideas which suit to the individual needs and then another way is to develop give some patterns and schemes to their ideas and by giving them patterns and schemes like students can create their own examples the examples which are similar to what the teacher think for example um, they can be asked to write an advertisement or a postcard or even a cv so there are different techniques by which we can encourage our students to write and bring in topics which are suitable and um, in this regard as as language teachers i would strongly encourage you to do needs analysis of students almost every day uh, before involving them into a writing task that will allow you to understand what what they want what what they have already what are their lacks wants strengths and weaknesses so this will kind kind of build a habit a habit which involves them intellectually and emotionally and which make them fluent and enthusiastic writer who start loving about their own writing